Hi, my name is Dr. Sherry Watts. Welcome to One Minute for, to, to Great Health, and it'll probably be longer than one minute, just letting you know. Today's topic is the essential of detoxification. Most of us are full of toxins. If you're having problems reducing in weight, trust me, you are very, very likely to be full of toxins. Where do toxins come from? How do we avoid them? What do we do if we are full of toxins? Uh, we need to make sure that our food is of a clean, so it's from a clean source. And how do you do that? That's called organics, people. Um, we need to be eating organic. If you, if you do need to eat meat, remember we are supposed to have an 80% plant-based diet for, for great health. But if we are eating meat, that meat should be open grass range or open range and grass fed and the chicken should be grass fed and raised organically with no dangerous antibiotics and um, that those sort of dangerous things because those animals if they are raised in that fashion they are not healthy and when we eat or consume that animal flesh, then we are not healthy. Now, I'm not telling you that you need to be vegetarian, but I'm telling you that you need to eat a clean source of food. Also, fast food is not ideal. I don't care what you see on these TV commercials. You must make sure that 80% of your diet comes from a tree, comes from a bush, comes from underground, and that means that boxed macaroni um, dinner, not a good idea. Pizza, not a good idea. French fries, not a good idea. These, uh, these, unless you're making it in your kitchen like your grandmother did, chemicals are used to process these foods. They become foodstuffs. They become food-like substances. If it can last for 20 years on a shelf, or 10 or five years, how much life is in it? Let's think about this. Just, let's just think about it. Does that, that makes sense. That we are alive and we have to eat things that are living. And those things that last for a long time, chemicals and processes are used to get that to take place. And those chemicals and processes that we find in those foods can toxify, can cause us to be full of toxins. Additionally, the water that we drink, the air that we breathe, there are some things we have very little control over, but we can control the things that we do have control over. I urge you to learn more about detoxification at www savemylifedrsherry.com. Thank you for listening. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.